I'd like to start here with an excerpt from a New York Times article about the US government's response to North Korea's provocations. Administration officials said the sanctions needed to be painful enough to induce the North Koreans to reconsider their decision to proceed with their nuclear weapons program, while leaving open the possibility of a diplomatic solution. In Beijing today, China warned against increasing the confrontation with North Korea. Believe it or not, this article was published on June 3rd, 1994, exactly 23 years ago. But more than two decades later, it's the same story over and over again with zero progress in dealings with Pyongyang. Very little has changed at the level of high politics. When it comes to Kim Jong-un and nuclear weapons, we know that side of North Korea. But why North Korea matters is not because of what we see in the media, but because of the other half of the story that we don't often hear about and that we hardly know. The story of the North Korean people and how they are changing their country from the bottom up. Stories like that of my friend Min Sung. Min Sung was born in 1992 in North Korea, just two years after I was born but yet we lived vastly different lives. He was two years old when the famine in North Korea began. It took the lives of about one million North Koreans. Thankfully, Min Sung's uncle had escaped to South Korea much earlier and was sending money back to his family through an illegal broker. That money allowed Min Sung and his family to buy food at the markets. And as a result, they were one of the lucky ones. They survived. But chronic hunger followed Min Sung and his family. When he was 18, he saw his cousins and friends starving and overworked, and he refused to go through that. North Korea is the most closed country in the world today. Ordinary North Koreans don't have internet access and aren't supposed to have any contact whatsoever with the outside world. But over the past 15 years, illegal foreign media has been slowly seeping into the country. Through movies and South Korean TV shows, Min Sung began to learn about a life beyond North Korea's borders. He de decided to escape in order to live, according to him, like a human being. On a Thursday, he saw his neighbor die of starvation and witnessed a public execution. On Friday, he went to school, came back home, and then left everyone he knew behind to cross the river into China. He had to leave without saying goodbye to his family because he knew they would try to stop him. Escaping meant a chance to live in freedom and without hunger, but it could also mean death. He evaded armed guards at the border with orders to shoot on sight. He swam across the river with water levels so high, he almost drowned, and made it to China, where if caught, authorities would forcibly send him back to North Korea, where he would be tortured, imprisoned, or executed. Thankfully, within three days of crossing the border, Min Sung connected with our organization, Liberty in North Korea, and was rescued through a 3,000-mile, modern-day underground railroad from China to Southeast Asia. For reference, that's further than the distance between here and New York City. In 2010, he made it to South Korea safely and was reunited with his uncle. he has been able to reestablish contact with his family still inside the country. And he's been working extremely hard in order to save up as much money as possible to send back to them through that same broker that his uncle had used. He has sent back over $10,000, and that money has been critical in supporting his family who is still inside North Korea. Min Sung's story is important because he isn't the only one doing this. 
Over the past two decades, more than 30,000 North Korean refugees have escaped the brutal system in North Korea and have resettled in South Korea. They are an important source of information about the most closed country in the world today. But more importantly, they are emerging as one of the key agents of change on this issue. About 50% of them have reestablished contact with their families through these illicit networks and are sending money back to them, just like Min Sung. And this is creating grassroots level change. They are sending between 15 to 20 million dollars per year, and that goes a long way for their families in North Korea. This quiet but highly effective form of people-to-people -people exchange is one thing the government cannot control and cannot stop. The last part of Min Sung's story that I would like to share with you is the part where ordinary people like us were able to play a role in helping him reach freedom. While Min Sung was escaping North Korea, students at UCSD and at other campuses around the world were hosting bake sales and benefit concerts to raise $3,000, the amount it takes to fund a rescue. It was thanks to these funds that we were able to rescue Min Sung as soon as we met him in China. Since then, we've helped over 600 North Korean refugees reach freedom. But those rescues were only possible because of the thousands of people around the world in about 50 countries who have joined the movement to stand with the North Korean people. Min Sung has been busy learning English, learning how to code in Silicon Valley, and helping other newly arrived refugees learn the ropes in South Korea. And he's now studying mechanical engineering at a university in Seoul. He shared with us that one day, he wants to be able to go home, go back to North Korea, and help when it opens up. Although I don't know exactly when that day will come, we share that same audacious belief that the North Korean people will achieve their liberty in our lifetime, and that ordinary people, like you and I, have an opportunity and a responsibility to help bring that day forward. I truly believe that one small act can change a life, and that a collection of those small acts done around the world can change the fate of an entire nation. Hi, amazing supporters. My name is Min Sung. I'm from North Korea. Thank you for supporting North Korean people. I love you, all of you. Thank you.